Hello, um, I'm Javad Hussain. I'm the Exec Medical Director at East Lanx uh, Hospital NHS Trust. I'll start uh, with certain of the infection prevention and control measures that probably colleagues within the organisation and outside are wondering as to why we are still following strict policy of mask wearing in the hospital. I'm mindful that the national guidance which came out in early June uh, does advise on uh, moving away from masks, uh, but had that built in um, element that each organization needs to carry out its own risk assessment to, to undertake uh, a decision of how far do we want to comply with the guidance. But we are also conscious that there is still COVID ongoing. Now, that reflects in some of the figures, which I will play out to you now, because in few, about a few weeks ago, the numbers had really gone down, uh, but the numbers in the community is increasing, and so is a gradual increase in the number of patients who are with COVID in our hospitals. As of this morning, uh, we have a total of 23 patients still in hospital with COVID. The community numbers are as follows. So for Blackburn with Darwin, we have 75.5 per 100,000. Uh, Burnley has 78.7, Hindburn 73, River Valley 103 per 100,000, Pendle 79 and Rossendale 81. This gives an average and a total of 80 per 100,000 in our conurbation. About a few weeks ago, the numbers were down to almost 30 per 100,000. So you can see how the numbers are increasing. And when we compare to our neighboring um, localities, uh, in Five Coast, the number is 101 per 100,000. Central Lancashire, which is uh, Preston and Chorley Way, is 110 per 100,000. And the highest incidence in Langs and South Cumbria is in Morecambe Bay which is 143 per 100,000. And you probably also have seen on the national news where it has been mentioned that there is a 43% increase in the rise of COVID numbers. You will understand the rationale that we have taken at the moment to continue with mask wearing in clinical areas and in certain non-clinical areas. The second thing uh, is the ongoing pressures uh, on the system, especially the urgent and emergency care. Uh, there have been days in this month where for total attendances in the area has gone beyond 700 per day. That's a big number. And the total number of attendance starting from June, uh, 1st of June till the 19th, is 12,000 and this is across our ELHT, Accident and Emergency Department, our Urgent Care in Burnley, in Accrington, um, areas where the numbers are still significant and it does put pressure on. So the plea is again to what we have been saying, please use alternative methods which are available of approaching for your healthcare needs. That's 111, your local GP surgery and pharmacies. Um, and if it is uh, an accident and a true emergency, then yes, do attend. But there are other alternatives available which you may want to think before you head your way towards these centres. Couple of things to mention from last week. One was our estate and facilities day, which was uh, celebrated on 15th of June. Uh, it is a big thank to our colleagues in estates and facilities who are the backbone of the organization. They provide, as you can imagine, right from the availability of beds to areas being clean to provision of food and all that is necessary for an organization to work. So a big thanks to all of them who work all the year round 24 seven to provide the right environment in which we can deliver safe, effective and personal care. As colleagues uh, know that this month is a Pride Month uh, and as a part of that celebration, there was a, a parade which was organized in Blackburn this Saturday gone. 
ELHD colleagues uh, took participation in that and a uh, number of activities were ongoing. Finally, uh, on weather, uh, what best about the conversation is nothing but British weather. Uh, now, the prediction is it's going to be very warm and possibly hot. Uh, and if that turns out to be true, as you look outside the window, then make sure that you look after yourself, especially in regards to hydration. Um, tendency is people can get dehydrated and that brings out a number of symptoms. So keep well hydrated, especially people who suffer from respiratory and heart disease. They need to look after protecting themselves from heat and ensuring that they take enough hydration not to get uh, dehydrated. And with that, I'll bring a closure to this week's update. I'll see you again in a couple of weeks time. Look after yourself and your loved ones. Bye for now.